you say you start your NPI process and this is comprised of three phases and after that it's really ready for ongoing mass production and ramp up of the volumes, right? Correct. So what are these three phases? So the three phases are engineering validation, design validation and production validation. Um, some people, a lot of people are familiar with these terms but they're not familiar with what the actual meaning is and how you qualify from one phase to the next. So a lot of people have misinterpreted this to mean that you've got three chances to build it and get it right. That's not correct. Um, each phase has, its, has different meaning. So the engineering validation, you want to prove out from an engineering point of view that your tooling is good, your enclosures are good, um, your PCBA is good, that your features are all present and that your device is working as intended. Um, at the end of an EDT build, you should sit in a room with all of your engineers and all of them kind of say that their functions have been complete and this product is performing as expected. So the output is not only a, a prototype that's much closer to what's intended because it is made this time with the same manufacturing process as is intended. Um, it also comes on the supply chain side with a bomb. So you already started to, to select the, the component suppliers. Uh, you've been working very closely with obviously also the, the assembly and testing supplier. Um, on the technical side, you've gone into all the details of the design, the mechanical design, engineering design, the firmware design, and so on. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. Okay. So that, that EVT part that you've built should be fully representative of your supply chain and your processes.